Soil provides the base resource that a farmer relies on for a livelihood that does more than just provide an income. We can thank farmers for providing the food to feed the world's population. However, to meet the demands of a growing population, farmers need to manage their soil in a manner to maximize crop yields and maintain long-term sustainable production. With the increasing size of today's crop production, farms and machinery, the issue of soil compaction is a constant and growing concern. The change in machinery weight from the 1940s, when a tractor may have weighed less than 3 tons, to today's four-wheel drive tractors that weigh as much as 20 plus tons, places a lot of pressure on the soil structure and the threat of the, both the surface and subsurface compaction increases. Add in the weight of combines and grain carts for harvesting crops and manure spreaders for nutrient applications. The weight that the soil must bear is enormous. Soil compaction occurs when soil particles are pressed together under pressure. This results in reduced pore space and a higher bulk density. As a result of the fewer large pores, water infiltration and drainage is decreased, aeration suffers, and root penetration declines. All these can negatively affect crop health and yields. Common causes of soil compaction on agricultural fields include field traffic, excessive tillage, and working on the soil when it is too wet. Field traffic includes all field operations using tractors, tillage implements, harvesting machinery, as well as livestock use of a field. To minimize overall soil compaction on fields, utilize the practice of controlled traffic. Limit haphazard driving across fields as much as possible during all field operations. Establish and utilize traffic lanes when completing all field operations. Controlling field traffic keeps farm machinery limited to the same paths in fields from year to year, so the compaction that results is confined to the smallest possible area. Excessive tip tillage operations have the potential to destroy the soil structure to the point that pore spaces are decreased and soil compaction results. Often, a plow pan can result in the subsoil after tillage is performed on the surface of the soil. Compacted layers can severely limit water reserves and root growth. Subsoiling is often prescribed to alleviate subsurface compaction. Subsoil tillage uses heavy-duty shanks to the depths of 15 to 24 inches that are spaced about 30 inches apart. Subsoiling is an expensive proposition that requires about 30 horsepower per shank, which translates to high fuel costs for the operator. To help visually illustrate the effect of soil compaction um, on root growth, we have planted field corn seeds in soil with different levels of soil compaction low, medium, and heavily compacted soils. We grew the corn for 20 days in a growth chamber to monitor the direction of root growth. The corn grown in the soil that was not compacted produced roots very quickly that penetrated the soil in various directions and reached the bottom of the soil profile within a few days. This scenario represents root production and penetration that would occur in a field that is properly managed to maintain good soil structure and tilth. The black markings on the glass of the container help to highlight where the roots grew and were visible. The corn grown in the soil representing mild or medium compaction showed root growth and penetration that was somewhat restricted to the upper half of the soil profile. When the profile container was filled with soil, the compaction layer was created at the midpoint of the soil profile. The black markings on the glass highlight the majority of roots per produced in the medium compacted soil and show that root penetration was restricted to some extent. The corn grown in the heavily compacted soil had root growth similar to that seen in the medium compacted soil. The roots were slower to penetrate in depth and were more restricted to the edges of the soil profile. The roots tended to grow horizontally first and then as time passed began to move vertically along the edges of the soil profile. The soil in this profile was subjected to five layers of compacted soil when the container was filled to represent soil that was subjected to repeated soil compacting events. The black markings on the glass again highlight the restricted, restricted root growth of the corn plants grown in the heavily compacted soil. Although differences in root mass and quantity were not observed between the three experimental groups, root patterns and level of penetration were observed to be different.